Hello, today's a beautiful fall day here in the Willamette Valley. Today we are highlighting our screens. We've got a, several different plant varieties of screens, um, part of our patio collection. These plants are quite popular among several customers. They have several different uses. They can, they've been used in restaurant settings to help create a little outdoor room. They've also been used for screening uh, in a neighborhood that maybe has needs a little more privacy if the houses are kind of close they work nice for that and today we'll talk a little bit about each one as we go down and uh, point out some of the highlights that these have the plants we're going to look at today are anywhere between five and seven years old these plants were grown either in the field or in our pot and pot then they were transplanted into these boxes where we made them into this, these screens they're on a bamboo trellis that's wired together that's nice and sturdy these plants, as they continue to grow, they will fill in, and in a few years, you will not even be able to see through the plant to the other side. They will continue to fill in over time, and all you need to do is to maintain them is to clip off the top a couple times a year whenever you see fit. This first one here is the Acer Palmatum Dissectum Seriu. It's an upright green lace leaf maple, and it has beautiful fall color. This next seven foot screen is the Acer Palmatum Os Osakazuki. It's best known for its intense crimson fall coloration. Some say it has the best fall color of all the palmatums. Acer Palmatum Oridonashiki. These leaves are dark green that have twisted swirls of pink and white. The bark is also coral streaked. Fagus Sylvatica Asplenifolia, the fern leaf beach. This cultivar's narrow, deeply low green leaves has nice color throughout the year. Acer palmatum butterfly. This cream colored variegation has a light tinged with pink. In the fall, it becomes a vivid magenta. This will grow well in full sun or a light shade. Here's the Malice Brayburn variety. This one has a great benefits because you can have all the fruit that's there close and it's not too hard to pick. Prunus snow fountain. This is a serpentine growing plant which we've staked up to be in this seven foot screen. Uh, has beautiful yellow fall color and beautiful white blossoms in the spring. Cedrus atlantica glauca pendula. These needles are nice blue, short, thick with irregular length. It's trained in a twisted form, how we've trained it through the frame here. This is still a little bit young, but as it fills in, it makes a beautiful screen. Ligustrum delvinium privet. This has a nice dark green leaf, small oval white flowers in the spring. This fills in very quickly. Juniper chinensis spartan. This is a green upright juniper which retains its color throughout the year. Ilex blue princess. This, this particular one has very abundant dark red berries in the fall. Purple stems and extremely dark blue foliage. Leaves are small, glossy, and spiny. Pyracantha teton. This is a beautiful plant. It has the orange berries that it gets in the fall. Beautiful white flowers in the spring. Uh, it likes to attract birds. Seem to love the, the fruit on that one in the fall. This one here is a zone six, so it uh, is only hardy in a few areas. La Coley. It's a heritage river beach. This birch, this one has an ex exfoliating bark which exposes the brown underneath the layer. It's a medium to fast grower. As you can see, it's well into its fall color, just about finished up for the season. Vega sylvatica. Here now we've moved into the five foot screen size. It's the same beech tree, but just in a smaller size. Gives you a different option versus the seven foot screen. Juniperus chinensis spartan. This is also a five foot screen. Acer palmatum bloodgood in a five foot screen. This one here is new one for us this year. It's a crepe myrtle, the Arapaho variety, which gets beautiful pink flowers in the summertime. 